Chris said, why don't we go out to dinner? And he knows by now, if we're gonna go out to dinner most of the time, I'm gonna say, why don't we bring a training dog? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> there you go. Good job. While we eat. Good girl. <laughs> okay, so we realized something. Um, when you eat this kind of stuff, your hands are orange. And there was 20 minutes where I was not able to reward this little one for being so good. But her nervousness actually helped out a little because she was more than happy to stay here. She did nose. She like nosed right here, like pushed on it, demanding food. And I just told her no. And she waited for like 20 minutes while we ate our hands covered with sauce. She could have jumped ship. And if I would have needed to grab her, she would be stained with uh, Cajun butter spices. Yeah, no. Is that So there's a lot of things that we do to keep her moving. She's doing pretty good. You saw a little scoot right there. Normally, she's been giving into pressure really good unless it gets really tough for her. So if I feel her scoot like that, which means she's resisting pressure too much, there's food on the other end of it right away. She's a young puppy and it's really important to, important to work her through these moments with a food redirect. And hand motions are always best for dogs. That's what they pick up on first because body language is their first language. And so that helps her. See, she does it again. She surprises me right there with that metal grate, throws the brakes on. So anyway, uh, that's just some of the, the ways that we work through this turning, stopping and sitting, letting the puppy breathe for a second. I'm specifically working on trying to walk <laughs> for longer periods of time with her <laughs> without her full on being able to stop and get her get her way because that's been the coping mechanism for her but anyway she's not allowed to shake her head for anybody new to watching piper's videos she's a bit of a compulsive head shaker and scratcher so she's not allowed to do that because she also does that to stop everything going on around her and and yeah so just lots of food work lots of targeting we do turns as well the big thing i wanted to mention is that there was a, a really calm area as well by the theater and we would work in the calm area work in the busy area by the restaurants calm area busy area we did two rotations of that it didn't take very long maybe five minutes each and uh, and that really that all pressure on off really helps build their tolerance so just wanted to add that in there because that's how we work the dogs when they're a little stressed.